Hey everybody, it's Peter from the Kia Hyundai channel. Today we're talking used cars for Brantford Kia. This is stock number P2856. It's a 2017 Kia Sportage EX. Let's go take a look. All right, 2017 Kia Sportage EX. I really like this trim line and I'll show you why as we go through the interior, but let's just take a look at the front first. Projector beam headlights, projector beam fog lights, that uh, tiger nose grill is what they call it on here. And again, this is the same as the current uh, body style basically they've had a couple little tweaks in the bumper since then but nothing too drastic at all we'll go wide angle for a second here this is the all-wheel drive model you've got the nice looking wheels down there all-wheel drive badge up on the fender and uh, I've got the uh, roof rail up top again we are wide angle so if it skews the shape just a tiny tiny bit excuse us for that we're just running up against the wall here I'm gonna go back into a tighter angle and you can see you've got the uh, sort of fancier lights here. I, you can't, they're not on right now, but you can see that they are sort of a design light, uh, which looks pretty sharp. There's a trailer hitch down low, so you can tow up to 2,000 pounds with this car, which is kind of nice. Uh, that might be an accessory hitch. No, it looks like there's some wiring there as well. So you can tow uh, 2,000 pounds, which gets you, you know, a lightweight camping trailer, something, uh, you know, utility trailer, whatever you need. All right, let's jump inside now. You can see there's a little button on the door. That button on the door tells you that it is keyless entry. Tap that button once and the driver's door unlocks. Tap it twice and all the doors unlock. Another thing that's nice, powered seats with the lumbar support. So they are leather seats in this model as well. Jump inside the vehicle here. And as we do that, we're gonna turn the vehicle to the on position using the push button start. We're not gonna fully start it just because we are indoors. So you'll see some warning lights remain on. Nice color display in the center there. It gives you a lot of information. Left side tack, oops, let me just turn the climate off. There we go. Left side tachometer, right side speedometer, and again, that multi-information display panel in the center, all kinds of information through there that you can look through. All right, coming over here, this is what I really like. So this is your AM FM stereo. You also have satellite radio, Sirius XM satellite radio. And then a lot of cars with satellite radio at this time, uh, when these cars were new, did not also have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So you've got your navigation through your Google Maps or Apple Maps through your phone that comes up to here. All of the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto apps are available in here. And that continuously updates, so that's always up to date. And satellite radio and everything else. So just a really good mix of features in there. That's why I say I really like this trim line. Coming down here, you've got the dual zone automatic climate control. So you set it to automatic. Uh, it will handle everything for you. It will give you uh, dual zone as well. So driver and passenger can be different temperature if you like, and that's easy. And you've got that clean air. This is a maintenance-free extra ion filter. So in addition to your regular uh, cabin air filter, which you replace regularly, uh, you have an extra filter in there, which is really good for allergy sufferers like myself. It keeps the air a little cleaner that way. Rump roasters down here. Heated seats for the front uh, two seats, and you also have a heated steering wheel, which is a huge function. If you've never had one before, it's well worth having. Come down here, you can see the USB port. That's where you're going to plug in for your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Over here, you're just going to have your 12 volt ports, which are easy to hide up or use them if you need to. You do have a six speed automatic transmission when you're in gear, like I am. You can tap it this way and shift your own gears like that. Put it back in park. Actually, let's put it in reverse for a second. Put it in reverse, and you'll be able to see the nice, clear, and large backup camera up there so nice feature there as well come back down again past that gear shift and you can see you have our drive modes eco sport and normal hill descent control four wheel drive lock button you never have to use this button uh, it just gives you an extra option if you're completely stuck in snow or something like that to lock all those wheels together all wheel drive is always active on this car so don't worry about uh, having to find the button when you just hit that snowy area let me go wider angle for a second here we go that and you can sort of see on the wide angle view some of the rest of the car again those leather seats soft padded armrests right there so a nice uh, comfortable car it is a five passenger car so you're going to see uh seats in the back there right now the armrest is down and that's got cup holders in there as well that's uh, kind of nice to have take a look up over here at the ceiling as we come back across and you do have your uh sunglasses holder up top there and you have an automatic dimming mirror which is pretty nice Zoom back in again, and you get to our regular cruise control controls. So this side is cruise control. Remember that information display panel that we talked about right there? Nice color screen with the information display panel. Uh, that can all be adjusted right here. A lot of features in there, but really easy to use. Coming over to this side, you've got your Bluetooth and phone controls. And of course, automatic headlights are up there as well with the fog lights. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors, even folding in mirrors. Some people really like this feature, so I'll just show you that real quick. The whole housing can fold in, and that can make it nice and convenient for you if uh, you tight park in a tight parking spot, or maybe you got kids in the garage getting their hockey sticks out from beside the car. Yeah, just a little extra little something for them not to hit on the way out. All right, jumping out for a second, we're gonna show you what the key fob looks like as soon as I get in the hand correctly. There we go, there's what your key fob looks like. Now, this one does not have a powered trunk, so when you hold this button, it simply unlocks only the trunk. 
Uh, some people are a little confused by that, but unlocks just the trunk. Uh, and then of course, unlock and lock and uh, panic or, or the alarm button. Tap that up like that. As you take a look at the trunk here, you can see you have a couple of different things. This has not been detailed yet, so don't worry about the little bit of vacuuming that needs to be done. Underneath here, you have some underfloor storage as well. And that panel actually can drop a little tiny bit and you have the split fold seats, 60, 40 seats, uh, fold down seats, and you have a nice huge area to put your stuff in. Really good uh, trim line here. This was a lease return is my understanding. And uh, yeah, I just think it's a great option for you. And if you're looking at a Sportage, it's probably the trim line I would get myself. So there you go. If you're interested in this car or any car just like it, feel free to give us a call. Phone number is 519-304-6542. The easiest way to reach us is just click the link in the description below this video. That'll take you right to our sales team. Thanks everybody for watching.